Hey, you too, man. How's life? Everything good? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Good, good. I'm glad. Good. I got a new dog. I, uh, oh. you know, hang out with friends and family. Yeah. Where'd you get the dog? Uh, my wife bought him. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, like a mutt or a pure dog? No, pure French bulldog. Pure yeah. French bulldog. Yeah, she didn't want a mutt. She thought it would be too aggressive. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, but the French, she's quite aggressive. Yeah, the French, but the French people are aggressive. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is a puppy your or a fully grown dog? No, he's about like uh, six weeks, so he's. Are puppy. you like involved in the training of the dog? And well, yeah, she, yeah. He, she was. Um, so she works, and you know, I'm in the house, and I'm watching divorce court and whatnot. And so I'm watching. The dog. <laughs> and uh, and uh, uh, you know, he, he's a very interesting dog. You know, he. he um, I don't know if he's a emotional or whatever, but he likes to eat his own doo-doo. <laughs> like, you know, and, they and, do and, that. And, yeah. They do, do, do and, that. And yeah. he does it quick. He does it so fast. It's not like there's any thinking going on. It's just like a... He doesn't even move. He'll, he'll, he'll doo-doo right here like this. Like that. He'll doo-doo, and he'll look at you while he'll do it, and then while he, as soon as he's done with the last doo-doo comes out, he'll pivot. Uh-huh. And he'll, he'll eat it. This, this foot doesn't even move. He just, just pivot. <laughs> and so you got to be quick with it. You got to get the... Out, out of his mouth, cause uh, he gets worms. You know? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I've been, so I, so I've been putting hot sauce on the dude. What? <laughs> Tap, tapatio. Really? Yeah, but you know, so so yeah, I just sit in the Does house and watch Divorce Court. I got the tapatio in my pocket, and and I'm watching him. I'm watching. So you're really living the life of a movie star. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's ridiculous. You do these, uh, what do you call them? Are they art projects or experiments or what would you call art these? Art projects sounds kind of like douchey, but it's still like yeah. a, <laughs> yeah. It's really like, it's community building. Community building, yeah, okay. In, a, in an art context. In so, an art context. So yeah. for instance, you went to, and correct me if I get any of this wrong, you went to Finland, right? Right. And you lived in a hut or a cabin. Cabin, yeah. Alone, totally by yourself. Yeah, in Lapland. In Lapland, yeah. and there was, and there's nobody there, but you have some kind of an internet hookup to a museum yeah. in Helsinki. Yeah, which was like the hub. All the rest of the internet was closed off, except for this one line of connection to this hub in this museum. And how long were you there? For a month. Yeah, for a 30 month. 30 days. Yeah, so they would set up a camera like on a desk, and I would sit there for 30 days, and, and the people inside the cabin, it's hard to get it all in, but uh, people on the other side of the cabin, could communicate with us, uh, and we could hear them, and they could see them, we could see each other, but they couldn't hear us, so we just had to type what we were now feeling. Now, you say us, but you yeah. were by yourself. Were you hallucinating? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, deep into the trip, but um, uh, uh, that came later. Uh, um, uh, no, I, I do these, these things with my two collaborators, Nastya and Luke, and we were in three separate cabins within Lapland. I uh, see. Yeah. So you were all spread out, but spread you, ultimately, out. you're really just totally by yourself. Isolated. What's yeah. it like to be, I assume you don't have, like, a computer or anything like right, that? Right, nothing. Or, what's that like? I had a little Tamagotchi with me, you know what I mean? I played Tamagotchi. <laughs> there was no rules against the Tamagotchi. I had that. You had food? I had food, yeah. They, they dropped us off with a month's supply of, like, non-perishables, so spam, tuna, cliff bars, that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. And uh, we had, like, a week of fruit. We kept it out in the icebox, you know? Everybody got sort of the same kind of uh, bulk supplies. Do you recommend that? Do you feel... Were you happy that you did it? Well, I'll say, look, like, for a person who's not extremely well endowed, who's kind of insecure about my own junk, there's something, there's something, there's something about, there's something about, there's something about, there's something about, there's something about uh, sitting naked with like a Sami a native in a, in a, in a hut getting warm uh, right away. Like before you say hello, you just, just all, just all just so you right away. It. You know, that, 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 that kind of thing is a very uncomfortable thing, but in Finland it's so culturally normal. You know, oh. like here, it's not normal. Guys sit in a hot, you know, and, and you know they sit with their boxers on. You know, yeah, like right. Yeah. yeah, not in Finland, man. Finland is just like, hey, bro. <laughs> They're very open. The yeah, fans. yeah. Are they though? Because they seem like they seem maybe a little standoffish to people in Finland. Well, yeah, they're kind of. It's it's not standoffish. It's just cold, socially cold, like. Uh, you know, um, and even people in L.A. kind of can be kind of cold because everybody's so isolated, but Finland's a different kind of cold, like uh, socially cold. I see. So, so it, it, it made it really interesting because we were trying to warm up the whole experience and, like, uh, make friends really quick. Did so, you make friends with Yeah, them? yeah. Every time we do these, you wind up with, like, a group of, like, 20, 30 people who really stick together. I do st you still contact any of these people? There was a guy named Nico who came in uh, when we first started the project, and he came in. He didn't know what we were doing. He wasn't big in art or nothing. He got a free ticket. He came in. He was like, hey, uh, so you guys are in here for a month? And we, yes. 
uh, cool, I, I just started a diet today. And we were like, great. And so for the next month, he could, went on to lose like 15 pounds coming into the cabin every day, telling us what he ate. Every day he'd give you his update on what he had. Yeah, he'd come in, he'd be like, hey guys, so Brussels sprouts, chicken breast, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that was the that was the project for him. So, it, you know, did he keep the weight off? Yeah, he still we still he's still sending <laughs> selfies. You know, yeah, finished selfies. <laughs> hey man, twenty pounds. I am Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.